We begin tonight with the AUC community in mourning after the loss of one in its own. While the couple accused of killing a college student and hiding her body now sitting in the Fulton County Jail, Baron Brantley and Jordan Jones both charged tonight with malice murder. They're accused of killing Jones's friend and roommate, 21 year old Alexis Crawford and dumping her body in a public park. Our next tournament has more tonight on how students are reacting to the disturbing news. A lot of people have just been on edge. For students in the AUC, it has been a tough week. The news that police found Clark Atlanta University student Alexis Crawford dead in a DeKalb County Park Friday came as a shock. My reaction was definitely that it's, it's frightening. It's frightening for everybody in the AUC. Clark Atlanta student Camille Dash said she had a class with Alexis. Um, I'm not really sure how other people are reacting to it or how they feel about it, but it's just, it makes me feel kind of uneasy. The medical examiner's office determined the cause of death was asphyxiation. Police said they were led to her body by one of the suspects. Officers secured warrants against and later arrested this man, Baron Brantley. Saturday morning, Brantley waived his first court appearance. Jordan Jones, Crawford's roommate and Brantley's girlfriend, was arrested Saturday and is a suspect too. APD says a motive has not been established. Crawford did file a report with police a few days before she was reported missing on November 1st. In this report, she described unwanted kissing and touching from Brantley. Jones was the last person to see Crawford alive. The shocking violence rippling through the AUC community. Clark Atlanta released this statement. Our deepest thoughts and prayers are with her family and with everyone who knew and loved Alexis. Morehouse and Spelman Colleges also offered their prayers and condolences. And within the last hour, the family released funeral arrangements for Alexis, saying they are, quote, truly grateful by the outpouring of love and concern that they have received. Services will be held next Saturday, November 16th, at the Hill Chapel Baptist Church that's in Athens. Gregory B. Levette and Son's Funeral Home is handling the arrangements, and the family is requesting that any cards, condolences, or memorials for Alexis be sent in care of the funeral home. Of course, we've been following this heartbreaking story from the beginning. We're going to continue to bring you updates on the 11 Alive app. You'll also find links to all of our previous coverage there.